Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. It is Sam with the Soul of Stella and I have another pick a card reading here for you today. This is for July. July love, okay? We're going to dive in pretty deep, uh, find out what is happening, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, whether you're dating. Of course, you have free will. The other people involved all have free will and time is fluid, so it could be very much present in July or it could start happening towards the end of July. So just keep that in mind. Only take what resonates, of course. We don't want anything to take from you. And that goes for if I'm talking about a particular uh, energy that pops up, you might think that's actually you. So flip it if you need to, or if I'm talking about uh, a work situation and you're like, actually, that's a school situation, take it how it is. Okay. That's what I mean by take it how it resonates. Uh, please use your intuition to ch choose your pile today. Of course, this is pile number one. This is pile number two, and this is pile number three. I've got some pre-shuffled cards out here for us. Um, tune into your energy, take a deep breath, once you have chosen your pile, the timestamps are in the description box below, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome, pile one, to your July love predictions reading. Of course, please only take what resonates. Let's dive in. We have the card of reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Straight off the bat, <laughs> take it how it resonates. And we also have Sweat and Red. They're two very powerful cards in this deck with the bold font, the bold kind of um, presence. Okay, so this is either like a red flag that's making you nervous, or this is the red of passion with this person, and the sweat is obvious. Okay, so let's get some more info. I want to find out what are the main themes that are coming through in love for pile number one in the month of July, please, Spirit. What are the main themes that are coming through? We have Gemini and the butterfly. So this is someone who is curious or it's a, a situation that is curious. You could be a Gemini. They could be a Gemini. It's something that I also feel needs to transform, a situation that needs some conversation, some communication, um, clarity. I also feel like there may be um, like some compromise that needs to be happening and some restless energy that needs to kind of ground itself as well. We also have the eighth house and intimacy. Okay, so maybe towards the more passionate side instead of the more red flag side. But again, let's get some more information. This is about sex and death and transformation. So two transformative cards here. Um, this situation obviously needs to transform and that's why it's being revisited. This also can talk about things that are taboo. Okay, so maybe getting passionate in the bedroom in different ways. It could be taboo relationship because it... Um, the, this kind of partnership is culturally different or uh, has, like needs to be perceived by people in a different way, but it doesn't matter if they don't because that's your... Okay, the Hierophant wanted to pop out and say hi. I just wanted to flip over then. Um, so yeah, this could have something to do with culture or tradition. It goes against tradition perhaps. Um, but yeah, totally your prerogative. What you guys do, love is love. I welcome all all types of love here. I just saw the Six of Cups as well. So yeah, it could be someone from your childhood, a friend from your childhood, an ex from way back. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, an abundance of friendship going out, maybe getting drinks with someone. Temperance is healing energy. Okay, so what is this reconciliation energy about? What is this reconciliation energy about? This could be um, that, that the two of you have had some higher learning about this situation. Justice needs to be set right. Yeah, uh, we, were, we were kind of picking up on that. It's like something needs to be righted. A wrong needs to be righted. Something needs to be communicated very clearly. Balance needs to come back to this situation. But I think there's been some higher learning on both of your parts. Uh, you might know each other through friends like that Six of Cups was showing us before. Um, but there is a sense of like, it's it, instead of getting nervous about this situation, um, if we can meet up as friends or meet up with a, with a friend group or at a party, it might be easier. And then we can have the heavier conversations later. Uh, there's something about like gently does it as you re-enter into this 
connection and that could be just as friends to begin with but I do feel a strong sense of desire towards each other this is actually my desire deck so interesting that I was drawn to even use that today uh, seven of pentacles so yeah there's some some work that needs to be done there's some investments that need to be done people I think there might be a mutual give and take that you mutually decide that you need to um focus on this and set some goals around this and decide okay where do we want to take this next what are we going to do with this okay there's some adaption that is needed though um and that might have something to do with what kind of justice has been served i actually feel like where's this justice card coming into this what is this justice card about the five of pentacles the lovers and the three of wands i think that there may have been um like there's obviously been a separation for there to be a reconciliation um but it's almost like someone was just about to miss out on this and someone also doesn't realize how much pain that they were causing the other person. You know, I, I, there's a sense of someone's just been out here living their best life. And when they have this conversation with you, I think this is the other person has been out here, like sorting their stuff out in their life. Right. But I don't think they truly understand how much you were possibly so close to walking away for good, like going traveling um, possibly to return home if you're from a different like country or something like that. But I also think they don't know how much you struggled with the loneliness and the um, almost like rejection kind of energy that I'm picking up there. Uh, when something was really craving harmony, something was really craving a connection and like this, I, I feel like you really needed this person. Vice versa though, vice versa. Six of Wands. Yeah. Success has come, is like this, this feels like a successful connection. I just think there's some road bumps that need to be addressed in communication before you can move forward. And there's almost like we need to decide on some mutual goals here. We need to decide on what this, the outcome is. And we need to know if, if both of us are going to be pouring into the same cup this time instead of it feeling a little bit one sided. One person could have had too too much time with friends and not not actually spending enough time with you. But it feels like this person now feels ready to invest in the same way that you were already investing because I see them like looking at you as almost like a sanctuary. Um like you where where they feel fidgety or where one of you felt fidgety, the other one feels grounded. The other one feels um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Rooted. It's like so one of you feels like you were very well nourished and the other one felt like they weren't. It could be a health situation as well. But let us move on. Okay, so with this energy in July for love, what is the expected outcomes for pile number one in this connection? Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's your decision. There's your um, communication. There's your breakthrough. Okay. It's almost like you taught this person something, I feel. You taught this person something. I also think with the, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords, it's like um, there was definitely some highs and lows, but there's also going to be some highs and lows in dealing with, well, how do we come together in a... Um, it's almost like giving me like tax time kind of receipt, but the old school like chick, chick, chick machine with the the paper that goes through it. I don't know what that thing's called, but it's like dig, 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 dig. Someone's pressing heaps of buttons. It's almost like actual physical reconciling of numbers. Um, so that might have something to do with finances for this person, finances for the both of you, um, and working on like, okay, how are we going to communicate how are we going to work out how to move forward in the best way possible? Like that serves our, our destined goals. Okay. If we're going to have luck and we're going to make this work and we're going to have luck work on our side, 
um, we have to take action in the right direction. We have to get really, really clear. Look at this girl like with her binoculars, right? You need to have a future vision. Um, and it, it does involve like, okay, maybe there, there needs to be some holiday time. You know, I'm really picking up on that. With the three of wands coming through, even with the, the temperance energy, um, and definitely with the wheel of fortune and the knight of swords, I'm just feeling like maybe some time together. I just heard honeymoon. Okay. So it may be like being in a bit of a lavender haze is actually going to be very healing and beneficial for the both of you. Um, but it's like, we can't just rush into this without making a plan and without being very quite meticulous. Okay. It's like putting in the equal parts and that's where the compromise energy was coming through with the Gemini energy and the communication. The communication is very, very important here. And I think if you do that, this is, it feels very destined. It feels healthy. It felt, feels like divine timing. I am curious about the karma attached to that though. Um, the hangman. Yeah. It's just, let's pause before we rush in like we did before. Fools rush in. Okay. Did I say that? It's that kind of energy. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for me, please. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the outcome. In the outcome. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the outcome of this connection. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, slowly does it. We will have success if we can... Um, if we can... I just heard tame the dragon, okay? So there's a very much a sense of you wanting to move quickly with all of this passion here, with the intimacy, with the like red hot passion, with the, uh, yeah. And because it's taboo, you kind of want to make a big bold statement, right? We're talking about the font size. You want to make a big bold statement with this love. You kind of want to pronounce it, announce it, um, like write it across the sky. I wouldn't be surprised if you wanted to celebrate in terms of a honeymoon engagement flash wedding that kind of thing but there is a sense of no we really in order to make the best of this and to be wise about this um we do need to take this slowly and if we do and the investment energy is coming up again i was picking it up with the seven of pentacles but this with the knight of pentacles it's like no no I, we want to rush in, but let's rush in on the details. Let's let's really like focus in on details. Let's put that energy towards, okay, how do we make this work and that work and that work? And that's unsexy. It really is sometimes. But I think there was a reason that there was this separation because it does feel like something to do with finances. It does feel like someone needed to perhaps leave an, uh, another marriage or needed to get a payout of some description, um, needed to balance themselves. Yeah. P potentially if they were out and about with friends too much and you were already on this up level journey or vice versa, it's like they were just wasteful and you don't want to waste this energy anymore, especially when it's so fiery and it's so, um, it's almost like erotic capital. Okay. It's like, how can we invest this energy into longevity? Um, and there is the potential for that with this investment energy. If we tend to this garden properly, we can really make something of this. All right. We have the four of swords. So yeah, take it easy. Rest, rest this <laughs> process out. Like just don't rush in too much. And there is a sense of like, maybe stay home and maybe that's that lavender haze, like staying home. Even that card kind of looks like a lavender haze. I have to be honest, staying home, snuggling together, you know, cuffing season. Um, yeah, there's a sense of just like the simple pleasures in life are sometimes enough. And then we can intensify things as we go forward. It's actually interesting that the eighth house can sometimes talk about other people's money. So it could be, um, yeah, something to do with like an inheritance waiting to come through. It can also talk about, uh, like magic. It can talk about contracts as well. So it feels like a destined connection for sure. Soulmatey energy, um, moth to a flame kind of energy. And I think that's why it burnt out so quickly before, but there's like, okay, maybe there's a contract that needs to be signed here to make sure it's safe, to make sure that it's smart. 
Um, and so it's not superficial, okay? So it's not just on the outside. Um, it's got to be grounded. It's got to be rooted. It's got to be put under the soil, okay? Our card here is helpful people. Yeah, it's possible that you may need some support people to get the right advice here, whether that's like therapists, whether that is um, some legal advice, okay, with the justice coming up here. How do we move forward? Um, how do we like put assets here and assets here? Again, the inheritance money kind of coming through there. And how do we set this up? So it could even be prenups. It could be... Um, anything to do with like business, if you work together. Yeah, very interesting that helpful people is coming through. It may also be that this reconciliation is coming through through friends, okay? A party, a celebration. And look, these people all have wings. So it's like, I think all your friends are kind of rooting for this connection on both sides. They're kind of playing Cupid um, and positioning you in the right place at the right time um trying to get you to be a bit more of a social butterfly okay trying to um channel some of that restless energy that they see that you both have been having into well you're restless guys because you're you're missing each other i'm drawn to the little deck that i have sitting in front of me there i'm just going to pull a card from here and see what it says pile number one july love pile number one july love These are just like little motivational messages, um, but everything happens for a reason. Oh, stop. I planted my pain in a sunny spot in the garden. A beautiful flower grew. Here's the pain, the five of pentacles, and here's the seven of pentacles, okay? The six of pentacles is in between the five and the seven, and that is the energy of generosity. That is the energy of giving back, of putting in. Okay, so I think that this person coming through feels like they have some work to do. They have some healing to do in terms of healing this connection with you, with their newfound wisdom um, to rectify and to grow something beautiful because they know that there was something and we don't need to get into too much detail about what that was. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, the sky is pink. The moon is blue. My heart is a nest and there's room for you too. What did we have on the bottom of the deck? But the resting nesting card, okay? The four of swords energy of like, let's just chill. Let's just keep things to ourselves. Let's just reconnect, um, you know, in the bedroom especially. You know, you're keeping busy in that sense. Let's get some tea leaf fortune out here for you guys. Card number one, love in July. We have mice, discord among friends or family. Yeah, there's something culturally or there's something taboo that's just going to be like, oh, really? You're doing that again? Pin, new job, new job or career. Yeah, someone, I feel like someone's got a payout or something has happened. Um, but also I think that there's knowledge gained here and finances have been set right. I also feel like this was something that was always going to come back around. You possibly knew that. I think your friends definitely knew that. Um, because it's like I needed to put a pin in it. I need to, to remember to come back to this, to fix this. Okay, it's like it's been a to-do for a long time. Um, box, you will receive a gift. Yeah, I think this person is really investing in you in some way, shape, or form. But I also feel like it's Pandora's box. Um, it's a case of there's a lot of jewels. There's a lot of treasure to be found in each other. But it, I do feel there's, there's something a little bit explosive. There's something a little bit mysterious about this connection that isn't going to sit well with everyone, but they're not you, you know? It's like maybe you guys are, maybe you used a love spell on this person. I just heard that's different. Be very careful with that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, everyone has free will. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. This is the like third, fourth time that success has really shown up here. So yeah, I, it feels like ain't no valley wide enough, ain't no mountain high enough to keep me from you. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. You're bridging the gap is what I feel. Let's get some more on here for love. Pile number one in July, please, spirit. Pile number one for July. Remember that time is fluid. So even if this doesn't feel like it's on its way, um, it could be happening more towards the end of July. 
I'm also very much seeing like a red hat, like a, it's kind of like a Yankees hat or, um, I could really offend someone by saying that it's a Yankees hat. They're like, no way. Um, yeah, there's just something about a red hat, like a, a snapback kind of really neat looking hat. Okay, be real, full, full moon in, a, in Aquarius. Okay, so this is really calling for you guys to use that, it's air energy again, use that um, intelligence, okay? This time, now that we're older and wiser, now that we are, you know, we know we have such a beautiful connection, it was other things, it was exterior things instead of our love that disconnected us before so now we have to be very vocal we have to be very um stringent uh with our planning with our we have to be meticulous with our agreements and how you're going to move forward with this to avoid tension to avoid conflict to avoid any kind of um in inequity i just heard okay so or inequality okay one more talk less, feel more. And I just said more conversation. <laughs> so there is a balance coming through. A definite balance coming through. There's deep emotions here at play. Um, and it's just saying, make sure you use your head and make sure you use your heart at the same time. All right, let's get some overall advice for you, pile number one, when it comes to love. If this is um, an an existing connection there's a reconciliation of your souls and there's a reconciliation of proper communication there's the intent to communicate I, I should have said that when we first started but it's a feeling of like if there was separation distance between the two of you uh in in your own household if there was distance between intimacy issues it was caused by underlying uh, effects like it was caused by underlying worry and stress and and, a, and an unfair situation okay someone was acting unfairly and I think that's where the discord amongst friends or family was coming in it was like if this person is your family because they're your spouse then there was something where you were like I smell a rat you know can can we like sort this out so that's what that reconciliation energy. And then once you realize you're both on the same page, that's when it feels like that honeymoon period all over again. So, and even if you're dating um, and you're like, I don't want to come back to my ex, then this is a reconciliation of um, love in general, you know, a reconciliation with someone that potentially could, you could feel deja vu with, because like I said, there's a soulmatey kind of karma energy coming through where, and, and karma can be good, you know, where it's like we were, contractually like we contractually agreed to incarnate and to spend time together in this lifetime um so that we can be on the same plane and whatever so take it how it resonates of course with that reconciliation energy don't shoot the messenger <laughs> all right give yourself freedom to feel what you feel to think what you think to be what you are and express it without shyness or shame this is calling for radical honesty with the gemini and the aquarius energy and then also with the pisces energy here with the talk less feel more it's really asking you to be put it all on the table, put it all on the line. This is how I feel. This is how you made me feel. Okay. It's very important for them to understand the pain and suffering that they caused you because I think now they can understand with whatever they've learnt, whatever wisdom they've, um, they might even, even have gone and had therapy. There might've been some rituals. Okay. Again, with the magic kind of energy coming up that they performed, that makes them feel like they're in a higher perspective or a higher version of themselves in order to deal with this in a better way, okay? So give yourself the freedom to feel all of this. Um, there is a lot of juicy, beautiful, intimate, fun, passionate energy here, but there's also the need to, it's almost like, let's get the washing up done first before we go and play, before we have fun, because after we, you know, get busy, <laughs> or let's say after we watch the movie, we're not going to be, after we Netflix and chill, there's not going to be any energy. We're not going to be bothered. And so uh, the dishes are going to pile up and they're going to smell. And, you know, it's just this elephant in the room. That's, if I could paint it as a metaphor, that's kind of what it is. It's like, let's address 
the elephant in the room first. Let's tick all these boxes like a Virgo, okay? Think like a Virgo. How would a Virgo act? I need to tick, 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 get all of this out of the way. Let's get really clear on this. Let's set some boundaries um, and then we can invest. Then we both know what we're building, okay? We're putting the same amount of nourishment into the same planter to get this beautiful new little flower. So that is what I have for you guys. Pile number one, enjoy your July. Much blessings, much love to you. I will see you guys in the next one. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. This is your July love reading. Of course, please only take what resonates. This still is a collective reading. Everyone has free will, including the other person, the other parties, uh, and time is fluid. So it could be happening now or later in the month. Your main themes is wedding and new love, okay? So wedding can talk about commitment. I'm also feeling like you could meet a new love at a wedding, okay? Uh, we also have tick, tick, tick and sip. Take a sip. Is that take a sip from the devil's cup? Or is that something? Is that a song? What is that? Someone tell me. Interesting. I feel like someone's ticking off all the boxes. This situation involves marriage. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, I can't help but think that you're somehow through a wedding or an engagement party, you're meeting someone. Now, if you're already in a relationship, of course, this could be talking about reigniting some love with your spouse. Uh, if it has been suffering in some way, shape or form, or just taking it to a new level. You could even be renewing your vows, okay, if you are already married. Let's get some more info. I actually want to get these cards first. What else is at play for pile number two in July, love? What else is at play this month for love overall for pile number two? <laughs> Venus and love, a lot of sensuality. I'm seeing the female form. Okay, take that how it resonates. You could be in a same sex relationship. Um, maybe it's just skin, right? Because if it's two males, I'm feeling like it's skin. It's skin. It's it's flesh. Um, you're drawn to each other's beauty. Um, I feel like this person has a healing presence on you. I'm also very much drawn to the fact that you may be like their beauty stems from their eyes. You lock eyes across the room or you're asked to dance together or you're, you know, a groomsman and a, and a bridesmaid if it's a tr traditional style wedding and you have to kind of walk in together. And so you kind of have to spend part of the day together and you really like connect on a deep level. You might even share similar stories. I feel like there's an element of this being an, um, you know, not so young. Can I say that? I mean, I'm not so young. So there's that kind of feeling of like, it's very much in, into adulthood, very much into adulthood. And there's a feeling of sharing like, uh, love's, love's lost. Potentially you're sharing um, that you're both divorced or that one of you was divorced and there's a big healing period. But I also feel like there's a lot of resonance between the two of you. There's a lot of rapport between the two of you when it comes to uh, your personal stories. And it's almost, it's, people might call it trauma dumping because it feels like this is new love and you've just met this person. But I do get the sense because there's alcohol involved and there's camaraderie in this like bridal party or this party or this engagement or if it's meeting through friends, however this evolves for you, um, there is this element of feeling very connected to this person. And there is something about this wedding and about weddings in general that bring up, like it's it's expressing such a beautiful love, perhaps the, the wedding that you're at. It's like, gee, they're perfect together. I'm just really drawn to the tick, tick, tick. And it's like, they, couldn't, they could not be more perfect. Like that's the kind of ideal love. And it really stirs a lot of emotions. Like you see videos of, um, you know, the groom watching the, the, um, the bride walk down the aisle and the groomsman is crying just as much as the, as the groom is. So there's that, it affects both sides. Um, yeah. And I feel like it really, it really sets the tone for authenticity is really what I'm trying to say, but it could even be quite an indulgent wedding, quite a lavish wedding, I should say. Um, 
I think a bit of money has been spent. Yeah. All right, cool. Two of Cups. Yeah, there's that mutual like affection for each other. Oh, okay. We've got similarities. Oh, okay. We've got similar values. Oh, okay. You, you know this person through this person and that person. And I guess we're going to be in each other's lives for a while because we've got mutual friends now. <laughs> yeah, it's quite cute. And it's almost like you two without saying it, or you might even say it, it's almost like you're, you're, you're looking at each other like, I could see myself doing this with you. <laughs> you're walking down the aisle with you one day. Um, I feel like you two are perhaps a little bit less traditional. You're a bit more quirky than the actual bride and groom. I know this bride and groom thing, this wedding thing is get, getting like eating up this whole reading, but please only take it how it resonates. It's a, it's a party or it's a, a meeting of friends in some way shape or form it could even be family it's like an extended kind of party okay we have the devil take a sip from the devil's cup what is that someone please tell me what that is because now i'm like what? why is that even showing up here the hangman yeah there's been i feel like there's been a period of pause between the two of you could be very uh and what i mean by that is you both could have been um single for quite some time where you've had to like rebirth your own sense of self-worth maybe even reinvent your image with that venus and love energy there and also do a lot of healing because of of situations where uh -huh, because of situations where you were both um dealing with someone who was toxic okay dealing with someone who uh you had an attachment with so maybe not married to for some of you but you had like a karmic uh, uh like it was a more of a karmic relationship where it had like disastrous kind of effects and it caused you to to dive into your shadow and do a lot of work around what love means to you yeah this got quite deep quite quickly we've got the mother star and yes at the bottom of the deck very big manifestation energy um also very nurturing kind of energy and with that yes energy you just kind of look at each other and you're like mm-hmm yep and i took a sip so it's mine <laughs> it's quite cute i love this if this is like, like someone you already know, then this may have already happened. This event or this meeting may have already happened. And you're like, okay, so where to from here? We have the Knight of Wands. Someone who wants to, I just heard, proclaim their love. Make, a, make it known, okay? Also, someone who's tapping into their intuition. Now that they're healed, they're, they're looking through fresh eyes. It's like this person's just put clear eyes in their eyes. Um, and they can see a bit clearly now. Their eyes aren't so red. Nine of Pentacles, the moon, intuition. Yes, yeah, strong intuition. And also with the Nine of Pentacles, I think this person is like, I'm looking for something solid. I'm looking for someone who's independent. I'm looking for someone who's like me. I think your this is your, your energy, to be honest. Pile number two. Um, and you're like, okay, I could take this anywhere. You're quite a successful person, I feel. You're doing well in your career. You're doing well on your own. You're you're looking after your own peace. That's what you've been doing. And that's why this is coming in for you. I feel like um, the work that you've been doing in the dark is going to start like showing up in the light. Okay. And what I mean by that is like, it's time for you to have some fun. It's time for you to be on display. Very much about this like beauty element coming through here. I feel your aura is like pink, red, orange, like really vibrating these beautiful like sunset hue colors um, that really attract a lot of people towards you. There's something very, again, feminine coming through here, but it could just be skin, but it's like um, a seductive, let's say that it's a seductive kind of energy that is coming off you without you even needing to try, but it's from all of your healing. And with all this shadow work, you're very in tune with your intuition. But I, yeah, I just feel like maybe this Knight of Wands is the, the other person. I think you possibly are both feeling it. You know, there's a strong desire to like make a move. Should I dance with this person? Should I kiss them? Like, is this the appropriate situation for that? I just feel like they, you both want to see each other again. There's something where you're like, I could see this turning into something, okay? But you both feel a sense of peace and you both feel a sense of healing. Little fly, just like a fruit fly kind of just flew past my face. That usually means someone's watching you. Um, mm. 
maybe there's someone at the wedding who is an ex of one of yours, okay, one of yours or the other person lurking in the shadows here. And so there is this feeling of maybe we need to protect this situation a little bit. Um, uh, cloak something, keep it secret, okay? The moon can keep secrets, cloak it a little bit. And the world talks about a completion cycle with this. As there's nothing here to worry about, okay? But it also does talk about a new beginning and a new beginning possibly in a uh, much more peaceful way. The peace is showing up in the Two of Cups, it's showing up in the Knight of Pentacles. I'm strongly picking it up with the world energy here as well. Um, okay, this... Oh. What was in the dark needs to come to the light, okay? I love when tarot just confirms the energy, okay? So you could be dealing, I mean, there's Cancer Leo energy here, um, but you could be dealing with a fire sign. It could be dealing with a Leo. Um, all signs are showing up here, though. Um, yeah, it's very life-bringing. It's very exciting, radiant energy between the two of you and that's why people can see what is going on here they're like hang on a minute it could even be the bride and groom maybe this is a destination wedding um with the knight of wands and with the the world this could sometimes talk about forward motion so it might be like oh well, where are you where are you traveling to after this you know how long are you staying in at this resort um where do you live where will i see you again interesting energy you've also got the four of pentacles something stabilizing and holding it close to your chest okay so f possibly if this is like a little i just heard true truest tryst tryst okay either way spirit what is the outcome of this connection okay moving to karma waters yes the peace i only want stability i only want peace i only want someone who's got equal give and take mutual understanding here page of swords feeling nervous to talk to someone but doing it anyway there is a curiosity about okay well how could we make this work um very charming very ambitious too ambitious energy showing up it's like oh i i really do want to see let's like someone in earnest saying to you i really enjoyed your company part number two and i really want to get to know you more how can i do that like in earnest and it's it's almost disarming but it's really beautiful it's really quite charming uh there's the death energy so again it's like uh, can we transform something I, I, i've definitely got an ending here you don't have to worry about that just because that person is giving me the side eye um doesn't mean i'm entertaining that in any way shape or form i need a new beginning how do we move this into like walking to the sun how do we move it to karma waters all of these are really confirming each other and again the ace of cups is like if the new beginning is there the love offer is there that earnest hey i really like you i think we've got we've had a great day together a great night together a great weekend together you know how can we make this work how can i see a new beginning with you could i be in a relationship with you there's the dove of peace again this is a really beautiful connection Again, if this is if this is you in, in an existing relationship, whatever this event was, it's really caused you to to see the 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 good in each of you. Okay, it's almost like making a list about um, the pros and just ignoring the cons. And you're like, look, let's take a sip of a new beginning. Let's let's maybe drink to this. Like, cheers to this. Let's decide to with our new perspective let's decide to move away from anything that was um like an addiction an obsession that was toxic that was tying us any unhealthy attachment styles there's big independent energy here as well so if you were in a relationship where someone was fully dependent on you all the time it's like how do we fix all this how do we bring it all to the light how do we put everything on the line how do we put our deep emotions on the line and show up with a sense of positivity okay with the sun energy it's like let's bring new life to this all of this says let's bring new life to this let's bring uh, like turn a new page move to a new um partnership a page in our relationship you could physically be moving though because again there's a couple more here showing up that speak of movement okay movement can talk about travel but it can also talk about action forward justice let's set this right wow finally i feel like this is divine timing as well i feel like it's like this is where i said there was possibly a karmic relationship it's like here's your reward <laughs> here's your honest peaceful stable new beginning if you would like it do you want to explore it you know it's completely up to you that's the energy that i'm getting anyway 
Okay, so this card, it says you're ready. Oh, I just got like a warm, like a little butterfly heart palpitations for you. That's so beautiful. Wow. And I really am drawn to like the, the flame. It feels like the eternal flame. And I'm hearing the song in my head. Do you remember that? I'm showing my age. Um, God, I'm going to bust out in songs so much. I did a dance to that when I was younger and we loved it. We had like skirts that had, that were white and then had like little, oh, the sunset hues at the bottom of the skirt. The colors like ombre into, oh, wow. So beautiful. And I'm drawn to that because of this halo of fire around the sun. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. How exciting. Okay, what else is at play here? That will do. Very little pink, that will do. We have chair filled. Yeah, you might be seated next to each other. Someone new is entering your life. Oh, I'm still, I've still got butterflies. This is really cute. Okay, we have mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay, look, I think that's the person from the past, but it could also be that one of you is like, um, I'm not sure if I want to move away from where I'm moving. So take that how it resonates. But again, it also feels like travel. Okay, slowly does it, but like we could do this. It's also Taurus energy with that stubborn kind of mule purse. Pay attention to your finances. Okay. It just feels like don't spend too much on this holiday. <laughs> That's the kind of vibe I'm picking up. And then mountain road, you're on a road to success. But also in June, in July, sorry, um, outside of love, this could just be talking about like things that you need to keep healing uh, and not spending too much money on the frivolous. I know we talked a lot about beauty and having like a glow up, but there, there's a point where you can overdo it. Okay. So it's like focus on more, more you're spending on healing rather than on the inner rather than the outer. And if you're stubborn to change your healing, um, then you really want to come back to why, you know, if this devil energy is actually you stopping yourself, self-sabotaging your own healing, then you want to ask yourself why, um, mountain road, you're on the road to success. Absolutely. And again, it feels like, um, a sense of travel. It feels like there might be mountains in the background or you're, there's a road that you can go on, or you might even go. I just heard, um, the, the road. What is it? It's in, it's in Maui. Oh, the road to something. There might be like a little tour you go on together. Um, oh, well, I'm here tomorrow. Like, how about we take a day trip? How do we, how about we take this, a car up to the view, this lookout, something like that. It also says like, kind of get a, a, a big picture perspective of this, you know? And I think this wedding vibe really does give you that. You're like, oh, I could see us doing that. And how would that look? Okay. How would a new beginning look? And how would it, how would it pan out? You know, you're really being quite logical, but also being very adult. There's something very adult about this. You're like, you're using your wisdom and you're saying, look, I don't want to muck around anymore. I want someone who I can trust. Um, so get a big picture view from the lookout. Okay. Can we get some advice here for pile number two? Advice for pile number two for July. Love, please, spirit. Advice for pile number two. I'll take all for B. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. New moon in Libra. Know you are loved. So whether you choose this love or not, because you've been investing in self and doing the work, and because you're surrounded by love at the moment, you might be seeing lots of couples kissing, things like that, even if it's not a wedding vibe. Um, just know that you are loved because of the love you've been giving to you, you have been giving to yourself, but also this sense of peace. It just feels like something new is coming. There's a, a winged creature coming towards you as a messenger at, at the very least. Okay. Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. Yeah. I think this person, this connection is quite a power couple vibe. Um, but regardless, step into your power. And if this is what you want, then say yes, you know, it feels like you're flexing your muscles, your love muscles again. You know, you're like opening that heart chakra right up with that beautiful pose, opening it right up and saying, okay, universe, I'm here. Give me whatever. In fact, your um, heart chakra affirmation 
is I have the courage to love unconditionally. Okay, I have the courage to love unconditionally. Opening your heart back up. It's time. You're ready. Final message here for pile number two when it comes to love in July. I'm going to take the top one. Okay. Allow yourself your feelings. Resist others' pressure to laugh when you feel like crying or to be social when you need to be alone. Okay? Yeah. It's this wedding or this event or this month in general. This love is going to stir up some feelings for you. Um, and you want to be with someone who is going to nurture that and allow that and have the... Um, the emotional intelligence to deal with that and also to express it themselves um, and to have the compassion and the empathy someone that's stable enough to just say it's okay let it out let's let's talk about this let's feel this whatever you need to do and if you need to be alone I totally understand you know there's something very um, I can't put my finger on the word mutual companionship mutual affection respect it's respect this person this love it's very respectful okay i love this for you pile number two please let me know your story is this happening have you been to a wedding did you meet someone <laughs> so beautiful take really good care of yourselves guys good luck have fun thank you for being here i'll see you in the next one bye Pile number three, welcome to your reading. This is your July love prediction. Of course, only take what resonates. Remember that time is fluid and we all have free will. You have let go of control issues. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That is so important. Um, allowing the situation to unfold naturally. You also have surprise and sweet. Okay, it feels like this surprise is like hidden in plain sight interesting and if you can let go of control issues then you're going to let someone or the universe surprise you so that kind of does give me the feeling whew, of a I just got a head spin it, it might send you into a spin to think of well what could happen if I'm not taking control Sam like really it's like all, all hell's going to break loose or S-I-H-I-T is going to hit the fan. <laughs> Me saying the word as I'm trying to spell it out. That's funny. Um, yeah, there's a feeling of if I let go of control issues that it gives you a bit of a head spin. But actually, it's like if you can just go with the flow for a minute, then you, I do feel like there's a sweet, sweet surprise that's coming in for you. I think you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. Justice is at the bottom of the deck there, but I'm actually going to go with these. What are the main themes for pile number three? What are the main themes in love for July? Pile number three, first house and self. Love yourself. Okay, this is talking about like your, um, how you see yourself, how you perceive yourself, how you want to be perceived in the world as well. Um, maybe you're like coming into a new era you could be going through your Saturn return. I know I talk about that a lot, but it's around the age of 27 and then it can happen later in life as well. And then we have Venus in love. Beautiful. I love when that shows up in a love reading. Um, so you could be looking at your physical body. You could be having a makeover. You could be like presenting your makeover to the world. You're like, aha, uh -huh, hello, here I am walking through the door. Hi. Notice me? <laughs> but it feels grounded. Like it feels good. It feels like this is long overdue. Um... It feels like this this new self, your new outer body. So it could be uh, weight loss or weight gain. It could be uh, maybe you've changed your hair to suit your real inner world. Maybe your wardrobe, your outfits, your styling now actually feels like it fits you and suits you and represents you better. Because I feel like there's an awakening that has happened within you and it's had to have this like ripple effect from your heart, from your soul, out into every like facet, down to your nails, right? It could be like everything's changing about the way you groom, the way you uh, like eat, the way you nourish yourself, the way you work out, uh, um, even your like life philosophy, your, your core values and the kind of like vision that you have for yourself is like a new, you have arrived. You have like walked into yourself. Okay, you have met yourself finally, it feels. And with beauty and, and Venus showing up, it's like 
um, I think someone is really attracted to you and you might have a secret admirer, okay, with this let go of control issues. This loving yourself first is really paying off. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what I said. I was like, this is so important. You've held a mirror up to yourself and you're welcoming yourself. You might even want to have a bit of a party for this or someone wants to have a party for you. You know, they want to um, lavish you in some way because they're very, very proud of you. And they also think that um, this now you see yourself, the value that they always did, that oh, they see you know you're reflecting the worth that everyone else has always seen you with eight of cups so it's a shift it's a change there's a lot going on there's a lot of emotions going on at, at one time there's a lot of um uh coming and going okay so things had to leave okay it could be again weight loss um for better things to come in muscle health um, or habits, maybe it's because of all these cup energies, the habit of over drinking needed to go so that better habits could come in. Okay. It's walking away from something and letting better things arrive. And you're quite busy doing this, this change, this shift, this working on yourself is quite time consuming, but it also feels like emotionally it's been, it's been a journey, you know, it's been a minute, it's been a moment. The Empress energy, you're showing up as like this divine femme. Take it how it resonates. It could be that you are a masculine, but you're showing up as graceful. You're showing up as balanced and abundant and nurturing. Okay. You could be a dad, definitely could be a mum. But again, with the beauty and the luxury, okay, all of this is really tied in. You could just be loving on yourself and making your grand entrance and that's your surprise. But I do feel like someone is sweet on you. For sure. Someone is sweet on you. I'm hearing like Iggy Azalea music, but not one particular song. I don't know what that's. Maybe that'll come through again. Okay. So you've had the hermit healing solitude inner work. Yep. How is love showing up here in July? How is love showing up here in July? Oh, you're coming. You're coming out. It's almost like a coming out party. You're coming out of the woodwork, out of your time of hibernation. If you are in the southern hemis, uh, in the northern hemisphere, it's like maybe you've been hibernating through winter and you come out and you're like, had summer, time for hot girl summer. Very much so with the Empress energy. You've got the Two of Swords. You made this choice. You made this decision. You, you were no longer in denial about this. Maybe it was your part to play. You know, you were like, well, how is anyone ever going to love me if I don't love myself first? And you've done the work. There's the Lover's energy. So you could already be in an existing relationship. The Six of Pentacles people want to give to you they want to be generous to you they want to surprise you okay and justice again showing up and it was on the bottom of the deck when we first started so it's you've set the scales right in terms of now I feel lovable now I feel worthy because of the work that I've done on myself and it's not to say that it always has to be the first house stuff of ego and self-image and appearance and temperament and personality and identity and stuff like that but for this month for this pile for this collective possibly for you this has been something that has helped heal your self-worth issues and your self-worth uh, value and your core values and and now that you feel worthy you attract better okay i feel like you're attracting someone and even um again strongly getting like if you are already in a relationship someone is just so proud of you and they do want to surprise you they do want to give to you and i think you've inspired this person in fact i think by you going first it's like almost pressured this person to make a choice um I just heard to, to stay or go and they're choosing to stay. So that's very specific, specific for some of you. Um, but it set the, it set the scales in like back into balance in terms of, um, you now allow yourself to be loved. And I think this person is so grateful for that. That's if you're already in an existing relationship. Now, if you're a hundred percent single, the lovers showing up here, it can sometimes just talk about a lot of self self love, I have to say, but it could also mean that you're meeting someone. Okay. You're meeting a partner that you want to form a harmonious relationship with. Ooh, I just got that. You could have someone already in your vicinity who watched you go through this transformation who maybe you had held up a, a hand to in the past and said no no 
I'm sorry, I'm too busy. I'm too, you know, I'm not dating at the moment. No, no. And you in some way kind of rejected this person or there was something like because you wanted to control the situation, it didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. It's like this person is now seeing you again for the first time. And actually, it's like you're seeing this person again for the first time because you now see yourself as love. You get like all of a sudden this person has love written on their forehead. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, oh, <laughs> it's like a recognition so that person, if that person's already existing in your vicinity and that story resonates, I do feel a, a union coming in that feels very like this person feels protective of you. This person feels like they want to spoil you. Okay. They want to, um, yeah, nurture this connection. For some of you, if you don't want children, just be careful. There is the element there that there could be pregnancy involved. Um, yeah, but there, I feel like this person is like, finally... Finally, pile number three sees sees themselves like I see them. And now they're actually seeing me differently. Wow. Okay, so there's something very like, wow, this was bound to be. This was meant to be. How good, right? The high priestess. Yeah, there's a sense of like you knew all along that this was what you had to do. Uh, and you just had to let go of the control issues enough to love yourself first. But also with loving yourself first, don't let the ego get too big that you don't see what's already in front of you. I just have to say that with the high priestess here, it's like you very much had a spiritual transformation at the same time, which is really lovely because we were talking about sometimes it's not just the, the physical, okay? But I think you've had an inner world transformation as well. The hermit and the high priestess means you've You've definitely been through the, the darker side of this stuff um, and you're coming out the other side. And I think maybe you haven't even told people fully about the transformation that has really occurred and they're just seeing it on the outside. Okay, if there's a connection here with this lover's energy, who is the person? Strength, there could be a Leo, Major Arcana for Leo. Also someone who uh, had to let go of control issues or had to tame the beast of like not rushing in too soon when you weren't ready, okay? Over here, you weren't ready before you did this transformation perhaps. But also someone who feels like now like you're so mysterious and magical and beautiful and fertile and gracious and loving and you're just pure art. You're like you're living art in this person's eyes. They're also coming from a place of, oh, intimidated, you know. Um, Nine of Cups, this person thinks you're their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they've put you on a bit of a pedestal. They've got you, they've got heart eyes for you, 100%. And they just, they want happiness with you. They see you as very independent and like you're good on your own, but they do want to come through and they're nervous, they're nervous. This could be someone from the past with the heartbreak and sorrow coming up there. You could reject this person again because you want to stay solo. That's completely up to you. Um, especially if this person is putting in a lot of effort. They're going to feel a little crushed. Not going to lie. Eight of Swords. Okay. Anxiety, frustration, feeling trapped. Yeah, don't let these control issues of yours. Don't. And what I mean, or what spirit means by this control issue is like wanting things to, to work on your time and wanting someone else to be ready on your time. And well, you didn't say anything at that time. So I had to go and do this. And it's like, just go with the flow a little bit, relax into these vibes, relax into the love energy, really, this pleasure, sensual, harmonious energy, what would that feel like in your body? Um, you don't have, your hands are not actually tired anymore. You might have developed like a, a protection mechanism when you weren't feeling as valued and it could could just be that you felt like a juvenile before it could have been a youth thing something that came with your youth and now that you've come of age I guess you could say um you are kind of realizing where you I just heard we're a bit of a biatch to people um especially like lovers uh where you were cold and you wanted you know it was like now that I don't want you, uh, well, I'm done with you. And you would flick people left, right and center. And you could have flicked someone that was very en enamored with you. Um, and now that you've had this glow up, they're wondering, 
like, are you too good for me? I'm getting, I can't remember the girl's name because I didn't watch too much of it, but I'm getting that girl, um, well, they all kind of had a glow up. In Euphoria, a lot of the girls had, like, um, they, they came into their own. They came into their own. They started dressing differently. They owned who they were. Um, they owned their own energy. Um, and they're still like very much the, the, the blondie, Sydney Sweeney's character. She was really trying to control things and control people. And the poor thing just like came undone as a, as a result of it. Like really didn't know if she was Arthur or Martha in the end. So it's like a sense of needing to relax very much so breathe out the frustrations is really what I'm picking up and here's that positive energy right just what would happen if everything could go right what would you do if everything was to go right what would you say how would you feel letting all of your solar plexus light up with creativity and ideas and possibility okay and really optimism and joy is showing up a lot here but you are the light you're like beaming you're a light beam for others so yes you're going to attract a lot of attention um but you now like get to because of your growth you get to compassionately and gracefully let people down or let people in that's as simple as that really is what i'm getting give me two sex. so with my battery just dying then guys it's like try not to use your energy your positive energy try not to use it um or waste it in worry in things that you can't control allow 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 and see what happens and maybe that means that you you know dip a toe in with someone with a lover and just say like let's see where it goes and maybe that's something you've never done before but there is someone who's sweet on you they do have a surprise for you they do want to come in they do want to invest in you they want to invest in this connection let's get some tea leaf out here bear danger especially in money matters horse short journey what is happening for pile number three in love for the month of july that's a lot cat a two-faced friend interesting energy ring a marriage will take place place either romantic or business you may be getting a ring Someone's traveling towards you is what I feel. And it may be a short journey, this, this evolution of self and this hibernating period. It's like if you're considering, if this hasn't even started yet and you're considering doing it and you're like, oh, this is actually like what I want to do. Um, just be aware that you are going to get some people who are, will be jealous of your glow up because they're not doing the work on themselves, right? Right just be careful that you don't want to spend too much money doing it that a lot of it has to come from within and also realize that it might not take as long as it like as you think it might okay but again you could be getting a gift a piece of jewelry uh fan romance celebration or party yeah someone wants to throw a party for you did i not say that um and you've got fans you've got like a sweet little admirer here um, you should accept valid criticism. Interesting. Okay. I think you're going to be looking on the bright side of life though. So even though there's potential constructive criticism, which could come from people who want to help you like do this level up, um, it could also come from someone who is a lover. If you're already in a relationship and that lover is saying, look, um, you've been spending so much time on yourself and I'm really proud of yourself, but can we like balance the scales out now? Uh, and can we just address a few things where, you know, your worthy, your unworthiness, your feelings of unworthiness um, made you act out or say things that were unfair? And can we just address those? Because they hurt my feelings as well. There's a sense of like if writing wrongs, you know, making decisions to to focus on the positives moving forward. Um, to focus on the joy and happiness. And I think that you're going to take that well because of the person you've become. No need to worry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is your other card. That is crazy. My voice is cracking. It's like a 
yeah, it's like a little nervous feeling. That's so cute, actually. <laughs> wow. Okay, so no need to worry. Look, you're the, the I just heard the home fires are burning, okay? Someone is really enamored by you. They still love you, even if they're just trying to be honest with you, okay? Interesting energy. What is the message? What is some advice for pile number three when it comes to love in July? Let me get one more. Release your blocks, okay? So again, it could be health, addictions, habits, rituals. It could be old clothing that you no longer need. It could be old ways of thinking about yourself, old habits of worry. Self-disillusionment, I just heard. That's a different kind of phrase. Um, where maybe you had body dysmorphia issues. Maybe you, um, you know, had to act out again, like I said. Uh, towards someone because you had to develop a persona that would protect you because your physical body couldn't in some way, shape or form. Okay, so release your blocks. Scorpionic energy there. First quarter moon in Libra. Again, balance energy. Keep your heart open. Yeah. I think you definitely are and it feels really happy and fe it feels really, really good. A new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positives, 100%. You've got the Venus and love card talking about keeping your heart open as one of your main themes. While you work on yourself, there's beautiful energy. And then focusing on the positives and the sun energy really in the middle of that reading and no need to worry. It's like everything's been set right. Everything in divine timing, you know, everything for a reason. It's really, really healthy, honestly. And it feels very much like a lot, a lot of people would relate to this kind of situation or in some way shape or form you know it's like take little bits of this and you're like yeah i can see how this works for me i think there's a lot of people who are in this day and age is that something people still say in this era we're all kind of like working on ourselves and, and realizing where we need to do the work and how much that can benefit our life set a goal for each day to exercise mind body and Hang on, I was going to say soul, but it doesn't say it. To exercise mind and body so that your health will stay, stay strong and your creativity high and your spirit alive. Oh, I love this. This is really beautiful. It's like I want to feel vital, okay? I want to feel worthy. I want to feel rich. I want to live a rich life. It starts with you. And look at the soil background, right? It's like you're planting a seed. And we saw the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person's investing in you because, and love in general is investing in you because you've invested in you in such beautiful ways that keep you vibrant and alive and it keeps you focused on the positives. The amount of energy that you're going to have and exude as a result of this transformation is so beautiful. It's going to surprise you, right? It's going to sweeten up your life. That's the best love of all time, okay? Love this for you so much. Congratulations if you're on this journey. Please let me know in the comments below. Share your story. Let us cheer you on. Take care of your beautiful selves. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one.